Would you please give a warm King's Cup primary welcome to your new headmaster, my esteemed successor, Mr Maxwell. Thank you, Mrs Hammond, and thank you to the choir for that touching rendition of Umbrella. When the sun shines, we do all shine together. Shush! What do you think? I think we can break him. See, he's wearing a braided leather belt. <laughs> Tells you all you need to know. <laughs> I see we have another case of the giggles. Mr. Maxwell, this is Ms. Norris and Ms. Niles. They're always laughing at something or other. <laughs> I gave up trying to find out what a long time ago. But as it's my last week, I don't mind saying I've always found it extremely annoying. Oh, well, I'm a terminally unfunny man, so I'm always grateful to have someone lighten the mood. <laughs> Shall we go to my office? Let's. <laughs> They're off to do the head teacher handover ritual now. What's that? She squirts the milk of knowledge out of her tits and then he rubs it all over his face and chest. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going there? Yeah, good. Good. And what is this? Uh, well, that's just some sh um, stuff that I bring in to show them I was a person once. Oh. <laughs> That's me, the school uh, disco thing. Grade one guitar certificate. That's me and Nick Rhodes. From Duran Duran. Girls on film. Oh. Oh. First album I ever bought. Yeah, I remember the first teacher of mine I thought of as a human being. I saw her crying on the top deck of a bus on her way home one day. And for the first time, I saw her not as a teacher, but as a woman with feelings. Oh, well, that's... But then we found out that she'd been having an affair with a 17-year-old boy in sixth form. Can you call it an affair? It's a relationship? I mean, couldn't she have waited one more year? Yeah. Yeah, or she could have looked into dating a man from her own generation. Yes. I feel the same way. <laughs> right. I'll leave you to your work. OK. What the fuck is that? What did it smell like? I didn't stick my nose in it. Well, I mean, I doubt it's anything. It, it would have had to penetrate trousers and then cotton underwear, unless he wears silk ones, in which case he's a real pervert. Oh, okay, so I imagined it. No, but... You know, if you didn't, then he made a multiple fabric blast through, which is unlikely unless he's Superman. Look, a man, a man in a powerful position left a moisture patch on my desk. I don't feel comfortable with that. OK, uh, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. Be angry. Nothing. I think those are both great choices. Oh, uh, we've been invited to a dinner with the big Brayband boss and his wife. We've been invited. Me too? Yes. Oh, God, really? <laughs> when? I hate work dinners. You've never been to one. I've literally never once asked you to come to a work dinner. What will they want from me? I don't know. Your wife-like presence? Yeah, but should I be chatty like Michelle Obama or should I be more like Jackie Kennedy? You know, like, don't say much, but when I do say something, really make it count. Like, slag off the queen. I think I'm going to say you can't make it. Aww.